And there's a little piece here. See the big twist on the front? Not the actual size. No shit, Sherlock. Welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade and reviews outside the workplace. Today is snack time and if you've read the title of the video, we have got some more beautiful, well fingers crossed, beautiful crisps to be trying today. I've been looking for these for about two weeks, seen them on my Facebook, I've showed a picture of Scrape Banks, he's been looking and i come across them by chance. Went to Cardamill Valley the weekend just gone and uh, stopped for petrol obviously and uh, I popped in just to buy a few bits and bobs a couple of drinks for the journey and, the, and I clocked them out the corner of my eye I seen the, one of the big bags I thought grab that and as I walked around the corner they had the multi-pack I thought that's it I've got to get a multi-pack because John's had a bag Craig's had a bag Andy Baker's had a bag uh, Dave Boswell's had a bag so that leaves me with two bags one for me and I will save the other bag for my missus I promise she'll get a taste so anyway enough of the backstory today we have brand new well not so brand new probably about three weeks old Walker's Max Strong perfect with beer fiery prawn cocktail flavour fiery prawn cocktail flavour I love a good uh, prawn cocktail Chris I'm not gonna lie I do like a, a prawn cocktail can you handle the heat 27 gram multi-pack not to be sold separately I'm giving them away so I'm not selling them <laughs> Walker's Mass Strong the irresistible deep rich crisp packed with bold flavour perfect beer enjoy the ultimate taste experience in every bite max spice max satisfaction let's hope everything they've said becomes true in the next few minutes and I will be extremely max spiced and max satisfaction so ingredients potatoes vegetable oil sunflower rapeseed in varying proportions prawn cocktail seasoning which includes sugars flavoring salt citric acid onion powder potassium chloride cayenne pepper acidity regulator, tomato powder, black pepper, colour is paprika extract, may contain milk, wheat, glucose, barley, celery, mustard and soy. Suitable for the old vegetarians again. Everyone seems to make everything suitable for the vegetarians these days. So Walker Snack Food Limit Leicester. So yeah, nice looking packet as well. Got a bit of a hazard sign which is uh, probably not going to be needed. And there's a little piece here. See the big twist on the front? Not the actual size. No shit Sherlock. You're not gonna have a crisp that big. Not in a not in a small bag anyway. So here goes. There's a couple of handfuls. You get the prawn smell coming off the bag straight away, but so I'm gonna go dig in the bottom and grab me I love a rich crisp though rich crisp seems a whole flavour so much better Walker's Mac Strong and Aldi's um, their version both were quite good so I have I've got high odds for these so here goes Walker's Mac Strong fiery prawn cocktail flavour cheers guys mm. Plenty of prawn cocktail flavour. Really nice. Quite sweet. And there's there's a little um how do we say it? Tingle and the old tongue going on. Oh the only thing in the ingredients that could make them anywhere near a bit spicy is cayenne pepper. And that's about the heat level you're gonna get. Mm. I 
I'm liking the flavour on these. Like I said, I love a good rich crisp. McCoy's and things like that. Awesome flavours. And Walker's Max Strong hitting the spot again. This is the only problem with this small bag. I want to carry on eating. But that's all I've got left apart from a little dabble in the bottom. So I'm going to finish them off. Can you handle the heat? You're damn right I can. But, fiery prone cocktail. I've got the whole bag. And like I said, there's a little bit of fire going on in the tongue. Nothing major, nothing that a lot of people couldn't cope with probably. But flavour rating, you get an eight, then really flavour, some prone cocktail flavour. They've put plenty of seasoning on them and well done. Um, I've got to give it heat rate. I'm going to go with a one because it won't be, it's not going to get any higher than that. But there is, like I said, a tingle on the tongues there. I can feel it. It's not round the mouth, it's not in the throat, it's not in the belly or anything like that. But it's sitting nice down the tongue and it's a nice, steady burn. It's lovely. So, Walker's Max Strong, fiery prone cocktail flavour get an 8 for flavour and a 1 for heat I've had stuff that's been supposed to be habanero and it's not even got a 1 for heat so well done Walker's Max Strong for hitting the spot with your uh, Max Strong Chris again so that was my review Wolf of Walker's Max Strong fiery prawn cocktail I would recommend those them tasty they've got a nice prawn cocktail flavour and a little bit of heat that most people could probably handle I've got a bag for the missus, like I said at the beginning. I'll let her try them. If I don't like them, I'll finish them. Demolition job on them. And I'm definitely going to go, I think, go back and get one of the bigger bags. Because I've really enjoyed those and I want more. Like I said, I bought a multi pack of six and I've been left with two bags because I'm a very nice guy. And I like to treat my friends and work colleagues, well, certain work colleagues anyway, to a little treat every now and again. Because that's just me. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, don't forget the notification bell. Click all and you will get every single notification from me, Rob, at Rob's on me. So for me, Rob, Walker's Max Strong, fiery prawn cocktail. Big thumbs up from me. Peace.